crops are planted to increase the health and fertility of the soil and to benefit the surrounding environment. This environment-friendly system emerged as an alternative to the bare fallow cropping system, which is susceptible to reductions in soil organic matter accumulation and therefore causes soil degradation. By covering the soil surface, cover crops reduce soil erosion produced by rainfall, water runoff, and wind. The mulch-like cover also limits the access of light, therefore inhibiting or retarding growth of weeds. The root system of cover crops increases pore formation, which increases water infiltration and soil aeration. Cover crops can reduce environmental pollution by capturing nitrogen from the soil left after harvesting in the fall. When used as cover crops, legumes can capture nitrogen from the atmosphere and increase soil fertility. In dairy farming systems, cover crops are typically harvested and fed to cattle. In 2014, the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service funded an extension project from the Department of Dairy Science through the Conservation Innovation Grants Program. This extension project was inspired by several dairy farmers who called us asking what are the best species to plant in the winter crops in order to obtain the highest yield of the best quality forage. Farmers should consider different scenarios when choosing plant species for cover crops. If a field has pressure from a large amount of broadleaf weeds, grasses and monoculture can improve weed control along with herbicides. When including mixtures, the choices for herbicides to use are limited. Dairy cattle excrete a large amount of nitrogen to the environment. Grasses extract greater amounts of nitrogen from the soil than legume. If the goal of a farm is to reduce nitrogen leaching to underground water, then the inclusion of grasses is strongly recommended. When the goal is to build fertility in the soil, then the carbon to nitrogen ratio of the biomass needs to be reduced by adding legumes. From a dairy perspective, we wanted to evaluate how the inclusion of legumes would affect the yield and quality of the fresh and ensiled forage. To accomplish this objective, 15 different winter crops were planted in three locations within Virginia. We planted five winter grasses in monoculture. These grasses were barley, rye, ryegrass, tryptocale, and wheat. Those five grasses were also planted in a mixture with the legume crimson clover. The same five grasses were planted in a mixture with the legume hairy vetch. After harvesting, the samples were chopped and wilted in the lab for 24 hours. Finally, samples were ensiled and fermented in many silos. After 60 days of fermentation, the chemical composition of the silages was determined in the Dairy Nutrition Laboratory of the Department of Dairy Science. The results from the study showed that adding Kurtz and Clover tended to increase the dry matter yield of the winter crops. Adding hairy vetch did not affect dry matter yields of the winter crops. Adding legumes increased the protein concentration of the forage. Since protein is an expensive component of dairy cow rations, increasing the protein concentration of the forage may decrease feeding costs. Adding legumes also reduced the fiber concentration of the forage. Decreasing the fiber concentration of the forage may increase the energy concentration of the forage. Adding legumes increased the pH of the silages, especially in the case of hairy vetch. Therefore, the ensiling process may be more challenging when including legumes in the winter crops. In this study, we also wanted to evaluate if adding legumes would have a residual benefit for the following summer crop. After harvesting the winter crops, both corn and sorghum were planted to evaluate yield and quality of the forages. The yield and the nutritional quality of both corn and sorghum silage did not differ among treatments. There are several learnings from this project. First of all, adding legumes to the mixtures may increase forage dry matter yield. Second, adding legumes to your mixtures 
is going to increase the crude protein concentration of the forage and also is going to decrease the fiber concentration of the forage. These two results are, are going to translate into more energy of your silage. A third observation was that silage pH was higher when we added the legumes and this means that the ensiling conditions are going to be more challenging when you add the legumes. Finally, there was no residual effects of adding legumes on the following summer crop and this was the same for either corn or sorghum.